with Andrew now, and he's going to go into the same transition that we just did. We're going to talk about the games in Top Man. We're going to work a similar thing to uh, what we had done recently with regards to the underhook escape. We're going to talk about counters to counters to counters and building chains that are practicing the proper techniques for both the bottom guy and the top guy. Now I'm going to work my game as the top guy. So let's say I'm here with Andrew, and as he breaks away and he gets to his side, that knee starts coming through. Boom. Yep. And now he's starting to drive through to the point where, yeah, he's got this knee like a belt across my waist at this point. Now, the closer he gets to parallel, the better for him, right? The more I can keep him perpendicular. Even this is significantly better than when he's all the way out here. Now, I mean, that leg's pretty close to getting pulled right out, and I'm back to close guard. So, my idea is, my favorite repass is, as Andrew's here, he's starting to get that guard back, his knees start driving through. Before I even allow him to get to a, or close to a 90, preferably uh, before he breaks even the 45 degree plane, I have this arm of mine tagging his knee, or I have this bicep tagging his knee, and I have my left arm that I'll bring underneath his far leg, and I start to channel all my weight into my right shoulder. This is where I'm going to begin doing what we call a repass. So I have to pass again. I've got to settle back into this position to maintain it. Just to maintain it, I have to get past his guard again. It's said that in jiu-jitsu, different people will say it, I don't know, you hear this stat a million times, but some people will say like 80% of jiu-jitsu revolves around the guard. And you can see how that makes sense sometimes, you can see how it doesn't make sense, but when you think about it in this respect, even though I'm maintaining side control, his legs get back in place. Really, I'm practicing guard passing skills. It might seem like I'm just holding side control, but I'm going back to fundamentals of how this pass works in the first place. So Andrew gets to here, he's at about a 45. This arm of mine is going under, this arm is going over. So bicep on the thigh here, bicep on the thigh here. All my weight's through my right shoulder, and now I'm gonna start to walk my hips up towards Andrew's head, and I'm gonna shuck with this right arm of mine to repass. My knee plants, my elbow plants, I'm gonna settle under the neck, I'm gonna flatten him out. Settling into a really, really good, nice, low, tight side control. So Andrew works the strip. Boom, he starts to drive, get all the way back through. I go here. Boom, plant the knee, plant the elbow, and I'm here again. Okay? So we'll work it uh, three or four times on one side, three or four times on the opposite side. Me working the repass, Andrew working to get to his side. So I'm not going to make it too easy for him. He's not going to make it too easy for me, but we're going to at least practice that repassing skill. Okay?